Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to another video. On a recent YouTube poll, about 76% of you guys said you wanted a YouTube studio slash bedroom tour. And here it is. I did this video once about a year ago where I showed off my bedroom and a lot has changed since then. So I cannot wait to show you guys the updated look right now. Here it is. Check this out. Now this is the official YouTube studio slash bedroom for AB Place TV. Now first I am going to be showing you where I edit my videos and thumbnails. All right, here it is. This is the official setup. There's my gaming chair I got a couple years ago. Uh, there's my iBuy power computer. It's a whole tower right there. I'll turn it on. Uh, one of the fans right there doesn't work, unfortunately. Don't know what's wrong with it, but I mean, it still functions really well. There we go. And as soon as the computer turns on, so does the keyboard, which I got from my sister Loudon. Here is um, my gaming mic. That's, they're both about to turn back on there. There we go. There we go. I obviously use this microphone for like voice chat and video games because I play games on my computer every now and then. And also Discord calls. That webcam right here, I used this used to be the official webcam for whenever I made gaming videos a while back before I transitioned into making Toy Story videos. I'm gonna get back into making uh, gaming live streams with my webcam in it, but now I just really use it for video calls in Discord whenever I wanna show my face. There is my uh, lock screen for my homepage. And here, Yes, there's my full name. I am exposed. Here is my headset. I occasionally use the microphone on here uh, whenever I just feel like it. And uh, that is the USB piece right over there that uh, connects the, um, the headset to uh, the computer and allows it to work and let me hear things on it. I got a desk lamp right here. Ah, okay, maybe too bright. Got some Pop Funkos right here. Got Chucky from Child's Play 2, Tiffany from uh, Bride of Chucky, and uh, Chucky from... Uh, Bride of Chucky. I also got a NECA ghost face action figure right there. Got little Woody and Buzz action figures right there. I have a U2's uh, Glamrock Freddy figurine right here. And a little fun fact, my brother Gus pushed me into my dresser where it was once at, and this falls off my dresser and the ear breaks off and I had to put glue on it. So uh, yeah, my brother broke it and I had to fix it. I uh, also got a Markiplier U2's uh, figurine from his Distractable podcast. I also got a Peacemaker and his Tidy Whitey's. That's just racist. No, it's not and here I got a NECA Halloween 2018 Michael Myers action figure right here. And I honestly think that he looks really cool. Oh, and I almost forgot about this cup right here. I mainly use it for like pens right here. And I kind of want to show off this pen. My dad gave me this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see that really well, but that is like the shape of a penis. Hold on, let me turn the lights out. All right, let's hopefully show. There we go. There we go. There's the penis. Yeah, my dad got me this. This is just amazing. I love this. And a uh, little fun fact about this cup, though, is that I got this from my first NFL game in New Orleans. I went to not too long ago with my dad. I also went to Ruth Chris Steakhouse over there. And apart from it being probably the noisiest uh, Ruth Chris I've ever been to, it, the food was actually really good. I just wish it wasn't that noisy. Check this out. Uh, the LEDs do not work anymore. And if you guys are like OG fans of the channel, like whenever my channel first started rapidly growing back in 2022, uh, they used to work back then, but they don't now because after one thunderstorm, they just quit working. And here is my man cave sign, enter at your own risk. Uh, I used to have the sign over there with my Toy Story toys. And I made a post on Reddit with the uh, sign right over there and some nasty little guy on there. He was like, oh, man cave. Is this guy an idiot? Uh, to that guy watching my videos, if it, any chance he is, uh, this was an inside joke because literally my room has just become a big giant man cave and everybody who's entered my room has admitted that it's basically what it is. To the last bedroom tour video I did back in 2023, uh, a year ago, that poster right there is a Little Caesars a promotional Batman poster and my dad got a hold of it for me so it looks really good in my room but it used to be uh, right back over there if uh, you guys remember and uh, now I kind of replaced it with a Nightmare on Elm Street poster I got from Hyperspace Toys so I kind of swapped the posters around. 
Here's another important thing that I use for my YouTube channel. Uh, this right here is my ring light, and I also use it as like a tripod because I hold my phone right here, have the light to my face while I'm filming. Over here is where I keep all my shoes in place. I got a bunch of them right here. Uh, my favorite pair are either the Red Air Force Ones or the Retro uh, Air Jordan Ones here. Got a writing contest certificate right there because I uh, won a contest. I also got one there. This area right here, you guys should be very familiar with. All from here here, 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 maybe a little bit over there with those two. Uh, this is my Toy Story display right here. And I used a bunch of display shelves I bought from Target and I put them together myself and put them in my room. And honestly, best thing I've ever done. It makes it look so cool right here. Got a bunch of new ones coming in the mail, some new ones I already have that I'm gonna be making an updated Toy Story collection video on. Uh, keep my charger there. A uh, movie theater size Buzz Lightyear poster from the 1995 movie. And it, I've told this story on my channel before. My dad and my grandfather used to own a movie theater and work in it. And uh, my dad uh, was really excited when it got to the Toy Story display because he built a giant Viewmaster to promote the movie in the theater. And he also uh, collected all these posters and he gave this to me as a kid. And this is one of my oldest pieces in my collection right here. And I also got a little bit uh, right here. This is uh, some of my extra Toy Story toys. So I do have a uh, parachuting uh, tripper hanging up there with a pin in the uh, board up there next to my uh, student of the month award I got right there. And yes, I am making a list of uh, toys I need to include in the uh, Toy Story collection update video that I'm gonna be doing really soon, hopefully. Now I'm moving on to the crates right here. I believe it or not stole these milk crates when I was really young and I kept them ever since. Uh, this one I literally just bought at Walmart I think or my mom did. This has some extra Toy Story toys that uh, most of it my uh, parents bought me. Uh, here is my horror movie collection which I just reorganized uh, from starting from over here from my favorite franchises like The Evil Dead, Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, Saw, Halloween, and the Chucky series, and I got some extra movies right here, including Joker, uh, FNAF, uh, 1408, some St extra Stephen King films, and uh, Night of the Animated Dead. Now I know what you guys are going to say. Uh, why the hell do I have so many freaking Playboys? Now, really and truly, I bought these to uh, kind of freak my mom out, So, because sometimes I just walk around the house and I grab whatever one I uh, feel like grabbing, and I'm like, hey mom. You wanna see some boobs? And uh, she gets freaked out and I honestly like doing it just to torment her. And it's also a good way to keep my mom out of my room because uh, if these are uh, in my room, then more likely she's not even gonna enter. Cause uh, I mean, she already doesn't like entering because I already have a giant Chucky doll over there and that Pamela Anderson poster right there. And plus I plan that in the future if uh, I start getting tight with money, this uh, collection of Playboys, which is about 80 magazines right here, about 80, yes. I could sell them for a uh, decent amount of money. Plus these are really fun to collect and I will be making a collection video on the Playboy magazines at some point and an updated horror movie collection video for all the uh, horror movie DVDs I have obtained since the last video I did. Now here's some of the best things I have collected. I have gotten quite a bit of uh, cassette tapes. And I got a cassette player right over there next to where Blue's sleeping uh, from a Stranger Things uh, promotional thing. Uh, I got Eminem's Music To Be Murdered By album. Oh yeah, I got Bon Jovi, uh, Metallica, Master of Puppets. Really good, really good. Uh, I got a bunch of ACDC tapes, some Ed Sheeran, uh, Kiss. And yes, I'm gonna be doing another collection video on uh, these alone. Subscribe, the bye. Over here is a miscellaneous area right here. I got a bunch of horror stuff, a Spider-Man Lego set right here, a Deadpool limited edition Coke, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a Ouija board, a uh, Lambert's uh, baseball, hold on. Uh, if you guys haven't been to Lambert's, it's where they basically throw rolls at you. And I got this at my graduation dinner. And here is the Japanese speaking uh, Woody Doll and Buzz Lightyear. Got Titanic on VHS. Got the Necronomicon right here from Trick or Treat Studios. I uh, got a brand new Chucky doll right here with the Heart of Doombala right here. Got a uh, Freddy Krueger claw, claw right here. I got a NECA figure of him uh, from the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, three pack. Got some extra NECA figures right here. And this is where I keep my uh, 
my first ever Chucky doll I ever bought from Spencer's right there. My mom says he's creepy because it looks like he's just about to burst out of the box and come at her. But my mom finds him the creepiest the most and she is terrified of him because he's got eyebrows and she says he's disgusting looking. And I also have a uh, nearly 40 year old pack of garbage uh, Pale Kid stickers, 11 series. Uh, that is pretty cool. I already opened it and uh, these are some of the uh, creatures that are in here or the children. I don't know. I don't know what you call them. Uh, that one's kind of creepy. Here, oh, okay, 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 yeah. I keep forgetting how uh, gnarly these are. Uh, and it comes with a, uh, a piece of gum. And yes, this is about a 40-year-old piece of gum, which I think is pretty, pretty nuts. And now I also kind of want to show off this uh, little treasure box I got right here. Ah, damn it. Uh, that's uh, the Ouija board box, and the Ouija board is uh, up there. I got... Ah, uh, damn it. Mm, got a cosplay sword that I got for uh, Christmas one year, 2022, I believe. Uh, keep it in there. Because that thing, like I said, is pretty sharp. I also got a thing of katanas, double bladed. Pretty cool. I also got a thing of nunchucks right here. And a uh, little fun fact about this toy this gun right here is banned in New Zealand because they consider it an airsoft gun. And I have a friend from New Zealand who uh, confirmed this for me. A uh, shout out to Nick right there. I also got a Polaroid right here that I keep in there, along with some uh, film. I also got some sunglasses, regular glasses. Uh, got a megaphone right there. Safety goggles for the airsoft, or sorry, the Nerf rubber bullet gun, slingshot. And right here, I got a buck 119 right here okay I'm gonna show off the uh, knife now really good looking it reminds me just like the ghost face knife from uh, scream except his was a buck 120 but they pretty much look identical and since I have like little kids running around this house I uh, have this uh, thing locked up with a padlock right there Right there is my laptop, which I used to edit my videos on. Now I just use it to listen to creepy pastas by uh, hooking it up to uh, my Bluetooth uh, cassette player. Yes, it plays cassettes and also is Bluetooth, and I listen to creepy pastas through that. And there's uh, my Harry Potter uh, area right there where I got all the books and I got all the movies. Over there is my Joker mask. That is one of my oldest masks, uh, a Frey Fazbear head. Uh, my friend, Mutant Florida Man, AKA General, gave me both these masks this one's scream screen accurate to scream one and this one i'm not too sure but he gave me both of those so shout out to him they look really good in my room got a high street sign got a stop sign got a magi quest sword that i've had for about a couple years now that i'm still trying to get to painting at some point to make it look good and also got this from my first nfl game i went to where i saw the saints go against the detroit lions there's my graduation one of the graduation uh, decorations i had my party uh, there's a my chemical romance poster that right there's never changed and i got panic at the disco poster right there and uh here i got an it poster uh, my sister lucy i believe made that for me she also made this drawing for me and uh, there's blue on my bed where i do most of my sleeping here is my closet full of stuff my high school diplomas over there i uh, got a calvin and hobbs uh, collection comic book over there some extra books, uh, some comics, pens, colored pencils, uh, push pins, uh, safety scissors, and I got a couple uh, leftover Lego sets right here. So yeah, this has been my YouTube studio slash bedroom tour. Hope you guys like the contents of my room. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, Avi. out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.